Am I in focus? Oh my god, I'm sweaty. What the f what is that, my nigga? What is that? Hey! Hello, how you doing? How you doing today? Konnichiwa, genki desu ka? Oh, genki desu, yo, yes girl, I'm good. Mm. Thank you for coming back to my channel, and today we're gonna talk about SOV. And if you don't know what SOV is, let me educate you, okay? Japanese word order starts here. S-O-V. S for subject, O for object, V for verb. Now, why is this a big deal? Because in English, we have like subject, verb, object, S-V-O. So that is why when you're a beginner and you're learning Japanese word order, you know what I'm saying? It might be difficult for you because you gotta reverse it. You gotta reverse it, you know what I'm saying? So the, the V and the O go like this. How does this stuff sound? Instead of saying, I drink orange juice, subject, verb, object, you say, I orange juice drink. Now, hold on, 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 hold on. Let's try some examples. You wanna say, I don't know, I go to school, right? You'd be like, I, I school to go, right? Like it's, bam, like how would you say, I eat waffles. I waffles eat. Exactly. Nigga shit ain't. I real women am. Me no games play. They on party. Uh Friday on party. Boo boo you do. What's another one I can do real quick? You shit ain't even though I you like. I know a lot of girls can relate to that one, <laughs> okay? Me right now, Chinese food want. You see how weird this is? But don't fret. My homies, don't fret. Because when you're speaking Japanese and you get real into it, I'm not all up in my mind like, oh, let me, let me. Where does verb go? Where does noun go? Ooh, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me. Let me. Let me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not I'm not thinking that way. I'm just like naturally it just comes to mind. So at first you might have a couple of problems. You know what I'm saying? Trying to say the sentences in the right order, I guess. But for me it was never a big deal and it was kind of fun switching into that. You know what I mean? But now I just don't think about it. But I don't know. I just feel like one of the things I really like about Japanese um, in regards to its grammar and vocabulary is the fact that it kind of allows lots of like versatility You know what I'm saying? Like you can say you don't have to say and in like the subjects You don't always have to say I you we he she you can just say school to went and then the person's like I got you fam on top of that. They don't have like specific plurals like you know how we just add well We as in like English speakers. I don't know what you is but English speakers we just be like, bean, s beans. And then in Japanese, like, beans is just mame. Like, straight up mame. You're not adding anything to the end. And they have, like, this whole big system for how you count stuff. And, like, there's different, you know, counters for this and counters for that, depending on if it's long, short, in between, round, a big animal, small animal, if it's a book. Like, they got all this other complicated stuff to how they have plurals, but before I knew that, I thought it was so cool that I didn't really have to add, like, an S to anything, like you would have to do in a lot of the other romance languages that we learn here in America, like Spanish and French and all that other mess. The reverse subject order is super cool, and it don't sound right in English, obviously. It does not sound right in English, but... Once you get used to it, it just rolls off the tongue and you'll be speaking and you'll be speaking backwards, frontwards, wherever what you used to or is the opposite of that in no time. Okay? Japanese like? Hmm? Japanese like? You Japanese like or no? Comment to me or share the good side. この良かった、この良かったらぜひいいねを押して登録もお願いしますまでした。バイバイ、me love you。